Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Tech Upskill channel. So today we're diving into a topic that's been generating a lot of buzz in the messaging world, the view once feature found on apps like WhatsApp, Snapchat, and others. You've probably encountered it. Someone sends you a photo or video that disappears the moment you open it. While this feature is designed to enhance privacy and protect sensitive content, it has also sparked a lot of curiosity. Is there any way to view a view once image more than once? Can it be saved, screenshotted, or recovered? As you may have noticed, when you try to take a screenshot or screen record, you're met with an error message that says, capture blocked. In this video, I'm gonna show you a method to bypass this restriction, allowing you to screenshot photos set to view once and even record videos that are meant to be viewed only one time. If this video helps you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to support us. And now, let's dive in. First step is, when you receive a photo or video that is set to view once, do not open it. If you do, this method will not work, just so you know. Now open your browser and search for the Android emulator My Android Chrome extension. Or simply visit the link I'll leave in the video description. It's not mandatory to use this specific emulator. Any emulator like Bluestacks, LD Player, Genemotion, Memu, Knox Player, Android Studio, Archon, Bliss OS, or CoPlayer will work the same way. However, this one is the fastest because it runs directly from the web browser and doesn't require installing an app on your PC. So after opening the link, add the My Android extension to Chrome. Wait for it to install, then pin it to the toolbar for easy access. Next, click on it. It will open a screen showing booting in 10 seconds. Then I'll open the menu and choose full screen to open it in its own tab. Wait for the countdown, then click start emulator. A new screen will appear with another 12 second countdown. Wait for it to finish and then press enter to start up the emulator. When it starts, I will open Google Play, click on Login, and then enter your Google email and password. If the screen asking to add a phone number appears, scroll down and select skip. Then click on I agree to accept the terms. Then you can cancel the email backup, click more, and then accept. You will see that, that the Google Play Store's door is ready. Search for WhatsApp, in my case, and install it.
Once it's downloaded, open it, select your language, then tap Next and agree to the terms. On the phone number entry screen, click the three dots to open the menu and choose Link as Companion Device. This will show a QR code. Now open WhatsApp on your mobile, go to Settings, then Link Devices and tap on Link Device. You will be prompted to enter your passcode or use Face ID in my case, which will open the camera. Scan the QR code from your PC and keep WhatsApp open on your mobile. Now return to the Android emulator. It will show loading your chats. Wait for it to finish. And you will see your chats. Open the chat that has the view once photo. Open the photo and press the screenshot button on your keyboard to capture it. Then open a program like Paint, just as an example, and paste the screenshot. Obviously, you can use any other method you prefer. Finally, save the photo, and now you have successfully saved the View Once photo. Now, we will see how to save a View Once video. For this, you will need another extension to record your PC screen. I've added a link in the video description, just as an example, but you can use whichever one you prefer. As with the previous method, do not open the video on your mobile. Instead, go to your browser and start screen recording. It's a good idea to also record the system sound to capture the audio from the video. Now, open the video and let it play fully, then stop the recording. You can then save the video. After that, use any video editor to cut out any unwanted parts or areas. If this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, drop a quick comment, just one word is fine, so I know this video was useful to you. Your support means a lot and helps me create more helpful content. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.